you can see the stack of pots that we have out here is going down going through the ropes rebinding any damaged tapes on the leads ready for next year cleaning up the bobbers and the pots i'm going over make sure there's no damage breaks that sort of thing this one's being changed a little bit it didn't catch great that one so we're going to make adjustments to it and it was one we we're trying out because it's very wide and flat but uh, did catch but not as good as i would like it but you can see some of these are very old so they just need the once over a few repairs doing if there's any repairs and just checking for holes and damaged bindings on them really and then they'll be put away for the winter quite often people ask me what I do in the winter well you can see here we've got this wood here we've got a whole stack of this in the corner over there but this wood is was being thrown out I picked it up in the UK it was being thrown out for a big wood place I think they were just going to cut it up for uh, firewood but I took a bunch off their hands and um, yeah you can see when you rip it down that's perfectly good wood there there's nothing wrong with that so ripping it down into bars like this these are the side bars but i'm making thicker for the bases and that and we remake new crab pots or um any bars that are broken i'll use this it only takes like i say 10 minutes to replace the top bars if they break they're normally built the base of the pot is a lot stronger obviously and that tends not to break if it does that usually means end of life for the pot but um they last for ooh, up to normally about six years ancient pot lasted to eight years so gives you some idea it depends how many storms we have Now, while I think of it, Keith and Val, viewers to the channel, have kindly sent us a couple of gifts. What are they? I'll show you. They are these. What is that, you may ask? I'll show you what that is. That is knife sharpeners. These will be really, really useful out on the boat on keeping an edge on those knives. Because sometimes those knives, they blunt off pretty damn quick on the boat when you're cutting up a lot of things going through bones and that but this quick slide through with the knife a couple of times and we'll add the edge back so thank you very much right so let's get back to today's video back out on the boat another morning it's quite a nice morning actually lovely it is calm sun it's a little bit later today but we were waiting for the tide because if it had been a little bit sloppy uh we wouldn't be up with him and sitting around for ages but in a moment we're going to be heading out again going to uh go fishing maybe some pots
by Rod, right off the back of the way. Still got quite a snake up. Mac around. Yep, they really are. <laughs> Went under the boat that time. Come out right out to sea. We we're fishing close around, but we weren't getting an awful lot. I got a few mackerel, but decided to move out to the deeps. See if there's nothing out here. Oh, look. Somebody's picking up parts. We'll be keeping that one, it's big enough. Also, it's uh, stomach gone, it's uh, swim blood is blown. This time, and the next one we'll go left. <laughs> the last little mark produces the goods in a spectacular way. Took the larger bottom lure as you know. Yeah. See beauty that. Comes all up. Not so big. Still a good fish though. That one put up quite a fight. That's like, ooh, 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 mackerel. That's oh. under the boat. I say mackerel, it feels like pollock. It's only just down under the boat, I thought. Where are we? Go back to the mark. Another one. Oh, yeah, good one too. Quite as big as the last one, but still a good fish. Straight back here. We might do that drift again. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Come on, Lord. Get your fishing. Hurry up. Take the camera. <laughs> it was a good Lord moment. Oh, the rod just doubled over. I don't think it's that big actually now, but it just right, almost pulled the rod over. Wow. I grabbed it while I was trying to film you. It's good. Yep. Yeah. Well pleased with that. <laughs> yes. Right. Excellent. And there's yours. Nice golden one that. Superb. Let's uh, put you down. I need a bigger box at this rate. And I mean like the length of the box, not the actual box. It's weird, they must be shoaling around. Some of them are quite high up in the water table as well. There we go. Oh! Yeah, it's gone. That one was lip hooked and it uh, pinged off the hook at the surface, but got a good look at it, about the same size as the last one. Oh, that's a little one. That was 
was flipping awesome. How many fish did we get there? Must have been five or six. A good, good sized fish line. Oops, there we go. Oh, heck, that ripped mine. That ripped mine. That ripped mine. That definitely ripped mine if you didn't hear me. Eh? You're off as well. Hey. We're getting some absolute crackers today. Look at these fish. See you all coming up. Look at that. Another nice fish. You've been hooked in the top lip. Today it's all about the pollock. And that's going to be the video title. It's all about it before we even finish the video. It's all about the pollock. Well, I said I didn't think anybody potted here for a while. Look at it. We got there's four or five lobsters. I think it's four. Three look like possible oversized. One is definitely under. But that's a pot. Sure, I don't have to gauge these, I know for a fact they'll be legal. It's definitely too small. And this I'm going to say is probably just under, actually. There'll be two in that box. Oh no, it is legal! Three then! Three lobsters. for ages. Probably only used it like twice with this door. Well, that's right, hey, the pot's closed without the spinner. I forgot to put the spinner between it. Do here. That popped enough with lobsters and so we'll pull that pot back a bit. I'd rather Good one. Good one. 
Have you thrown the lobster out or is he still? No, I've still got him. Okay. Yeah, but we want to see. We want to see we do. We want to see. We want to see. There's the sea, right there. There he is. There's a bibby one. Baby. Yeah. Okay. Over he goes. Right, let's get back to it. kindergarten pot <laughs> three absolute tiddlers grab them grab them all out at one time and put them all together like we'll have a look at them this is the crash pot crash pot i'll have to hand yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the crash pot, that one. <laughs> Watch it don't grab each other. set of claws that one an absolute beauty There we go, they'll all be undersized. They're pretty cool, huh? Teenage pot. Yeah, that's the teenage pot. We've had the uh, kindergarten pot, now we've got the teenage pot. Might do. Might do. Might do. Might do. Might do. Might 
say that, I mean, all the time somebody comes in and walks and gets a 25 crab. It happened last year. This is an old boy, this one. Yeah, he is. Look at the size of that. Compared to that. That's the normal keeper, big one. This is a really big one. So, what weight do we reckon? Well, I mean, this one's heavy enough. I'd say that's a three pound at least. So I'm going to go five, over five on that one. Five. I'm going to say five and a half again. Five and a half, right? Rebecca's just putting the mackerel we had into a box. They've been cooled in here with ice and that, but now we're just putting them into some fresh, I say fresh water, it's salt water. Keep them nice and fresh. Now you can see that they're glistening, they're that fresh. Well, they're stiff, look at them. Yep, and still shiny. And that's what you get when you keep them in icy water. Mm -hmm. And that water's icy. Make your hands hurt if you leave your hands in there too much. Right, but stuck. anyway, these are the pollock that we had. Some there really they are, nice absolute, ones. absolute clonkers in there. Look at them. Look at the size of some of those. I mean, they obviously pollock get a lot bigger, but for us on the shallow reefs and that, I mean, that's some good sized fish. You know, no, no wreck fish or anything like that. These are proper, proper reef pollock or ones that. Maybe my great summer reef pollock, the golden ones are usually the reef Yeah, ones. there was one, wasn't there? Oh, this it was one. really golden. Yeah, yeah. the different. But I you, mean, he's yeah, lost a bit of it You can see it now, a bit. But... You see the orange on it. But um, no, we finally got onto the very last mark we were going to fish. Or we thought we'd quickly try, and there they were. So you can just about see a difference mm. there. This one would have had a lot more bronze in it. Mm. What's the big, biggest? What's that one underneath? Oh, this bottom? one is the biggest one. There's another big the one. Two, the that one there, yeah, there, that's yeah. a nice one as well. Look, yeah, absolute crackers. Mm -hmm. Right, well, there you go. That's a, a a Pollock session finished and very successful. <laughs>